So this week on Man vs Slug, we are really privileged to have some of our fans from Australia visiting us and they are going to be helping us uh, plant some vegetables. Man vs Slug. This week we're going to be planting the potatoes that have been out here chitting for the past couple of weeks. Do you want to grab those? Uh, no, no, grab the whole tray. Grab the whole tray. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, what do you think? Uh, do you think those have chitted enough? Yeah, they look kind of like spiders. That's creepy, but yes, I think they've chitted enough. Magic. Right, let's go to the vegetable bench. We're going to be doing no good dig gardening, which, um, means we're going to be digging of course uh, but we're trying to minimize the amount of digging we've got so that all the, the sort of fungi and stuff in the soil can maintain the condition. I've got my Australian fans with me here um, they're going to be helping us with the potatoes um, so in Australia I mean we, we, we shove the potatoes in do you want a little bit in the hole? Yeah um, what what's it like for you guys do you do you like to see the potatoes come down? I mean, yeah yeah they come out of the soil um, we have an annual holiday called root platting and we like to get together and plat the roots. It's great festivity. So you actually put extra potatoes onto the roots and, and then when we harvest the potatoes, um, you get them back. We, we, we essentially, we're getting them from Australia. I mean, it must be really fascinating in Australia to, yes. to see what, what these look like. Almost like trees upside down. Well, I guess, yeah. I mean, you probably just call them trees. Um, so while, while you're in Europe, are you are you going to be visiting Italy at all to see their spaghetti trees? No, no, no. we're just staying in England. Just just staying in England. I mean, yeah. See your weird upside down potatoes. Yeah, we, we we have like green things that grow on the top of them, just like lumps that come out the ground. Hmm. It's amazing, isn't it? Really I'm going to shut that down and, and plant it a bit more. Right, where do we plant that one? You want to put one in here? Okay. So what do you grow in Australia? Um, we grow kangaroos. Yeah. Um, drop bears too. And, and castlemaine forex? No. No? The adverts have lied to us. You believe it? The adverts have lied. <laughs> we planted everything that Veg in One Bed says that we should plant this month. Uh, but we're going to plant one more thing. Uh, we are planting a packet of random seeds. Uh, these are seeds that I scooped up out the bottom of my box of seeds last year and I don't even know what they are. Uh, and the packet I wrote on might be spinach, Swiss chard, maybe beetroot. Um, if you have a look at these... Uh, oh no, there's a, there's definitely a, a broad bean or two in there too. See those? It's sort of like little clusters of seed things. So, yeah. Radish, Swiss chard, beetroot, all, all kind of look like that. So do you know what time of year we should plant those? No. No, nor do I, because I don't know what they are. Um, and do you know how far apart we should plant them? No. No, nor do I, because I have no idea what they are. But we are just going to plant them in a, in a row between these sticks, maybe, I don't know, the width of how big, how big is a possum? Um, well, it depends. You've got, like, bush tails. Which... I don't know, like... The body is about that long. Sometimes the tail is that. Yeah, but how that wide? wide. Uh, yeah, maybe wide. maybe the width of a possum apart. So if you're watching this uh, in Wales, that won't help at all. Good. Uh, so we're just going to draw a trench um, uh, along here. Oh, do you know what that is? That that hole there? Uh, it's a hole. Yeah, you know, that is where we've had a crow uh, digging in the vegetable patch, and it's it's not been eating any of the stuff coming up. It is just. Um, He's trying to get to the cardboard. It's really interesting. Well, not that interesting, sorry. Um, cardboard. Yeah, I know. It, I mean, it's a crow. Let me go, let me go. If there's any crows watching this, I don't mean to offend you. What's it over here? Oh, there's loads of these. Okay. Right, they're going to be way too close now because. We've got loads of these, but we're just going to wait. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and then when they come up, we'll find out what they are. Maybe yeah. thin them out. Hopefully they're not aliens. Not really bad. It's the apocalypse. Ooh. Yeah, so that these really aren't possum width apart. We have just whacked them in like the whole way along. 
need like a thousand meter long thing to get him so hot. Oh wow, yeah, you you really did oh, just yeah, it's way too dense, but hey. We don't know what they are, they get dense. So we don't know what they are, they're way too dense. And we'll hope they come up, so we're just gonna cover them all up. These are the radishes that have started coming up. The garlic's doing pretty well. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Man vs Slug. I'm not normally in it, but I just wanted to be in it because it's the best gardening channel I've seen on YouTube. So you should definitely like and subscribe right now.